chaos, destruction and death. That are the only words that can be used to describe what people living in Turkey and Syria have experienced in the past week. The region was hit by a once in a century type of disaster that has killed more than 15,000 people. These figures are until Thursday evening when we are shooting this video. And rescue workers have said that these could go higher as they look through the rubble. The earthquake, which was a magnitude 7.8 on the Richter scale, was just one of the many that followed. Minutes after the massive quake, the region was hit by another tremor that was of 7.2 intensity, followed by several aftershocks, all feeling like successive earthquakes. As buildings collapsed and life ceased to exist, a global collaboration began taking shape, including from India, to not only save lives but also provide critical medical care to people that have faced more than just tremors in the recent past. But why was this earthquake so deadly? And why did it happen? Today, we look at the rumblings that happen under our feet. My name is Shibu Tripathi and this is The Universe This Week. Before we dive into the science behind the Turkey's deadly quake, a look back at the events that unfolded in the world of science in the past week. The James Webb Telescope has identified the smallest object in its catalogue since it began science operations a year ago. The world's most powerful observatory had found an asteroid, which is three times the size of Qutub Minar in Delhi. It is located in the main asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars. Studying this asteroid could reveal insights into the formation and evolution of our solar system. Jupiter has trumped Saturn to become the planet with most moons. In a major breakthrough, 12 new moons have been discovered around Jupiter. The moons have been confirmed by the Minor Planet Center. Jupiter now has a whopping 92 moons orbiting it, a mini solar system in itself if you ask me. And it is apt to say that the king of planet is now also the king of moons. The Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has released new details about Chandrayaan-3 mission. And we are more than excited about this one. The third mission, part of the Chandrayaan series, will launch to investigate the composition of the lunar surface and the region around its landing site. The spacecraft will not only measure the seismicity around the landing site, but also estimate the plasma density, thermal conductivity and temperature on the surface. We will soon do an in-depth on the mission in the coming days. Now on to our big story, the story of what happened in Turkey and why the earthquake really happened and why was it so deadly. Parts of Turkey and Syria were violently shaken on early Monday after a 7.8 magnitude earthquake struck the region. The quake hit at a depth of 18 kilometers and the epicenter was in southern Turkey and near the northern border of Syria. The quake was so violent that in the first 11 hours, the region felt 13 significant aftershocks and a magnitude of at least five. What happened in Turkey was a strike-slip quake where two tectonic plates slide past each other horizontally. The Earth is divided into three layers, the crust, the mantle and the core. The crust is made up of several smaller bits, which are called plates, that rest along each other. These plates are held together by a friction of rubbing up against each other. But on some occasions, the pressure builds enough that the plate jerks across another, causing the violent movement of the surface. It is not unusual for Turkey to experience an earthquake since almost all of the country is seismically active. What happened on February 6th was that the Arabian plate moved and grinded against the Anatolian plate, which released a massive amount of energy. The quake occurred in the seismically active area known as the East Anatolian Fault Zone, which has caused disasters in the past. What made this disaster so deadly was the fact that it hit nearly heavily populated areas, which are home to vulnerable buildings. While new buildings in the city like Istanbul have been designed with modern earthquake standards, the area of southern Turkey has many older high-rise buildings. This is not the first time that such a deadly quake has hit the world. More than 1100 people died in the magnitude 6.1 earthquake in Afghanistan last year, posing a new test for countries Taliban rulers and relief agencies. Over 8000 people were killed in Nepal in 2015 when a magnitude 7.8 earthquake hit. A magnitude 9.0 quake off the northeast coast of Japan triggered a tsunami, killing nearly 20000 people, while a 2008 quake of magnitude 7.9 struck eastern China resulting in over 87,000 deaths. Earth keeps shaking from time to time, and it is extremely difficult to predict when the next violent shakeup will happen. What governments, especially in seismic active countries, including India, can do is preparedness. Preparedness to face the unannounced danger and build scientific prowess to better understand the churnings happening under the surface of the planet. In the meantime, we pray for people of Turkey and war-ravaged Syria as they try to find normalcy and build their lives again. This is all in this episode of The Universe This Week. Like, share and subscribe to India Today for more such science videos and follow me on Twitter for daily science coverage.